Today, morning, George. Morning, Ellie. Morning, Leo. Happy Sabbath, friends. I am so glad it's Sabbath today. Everyone, let's pray. Thank you so much for keeping Daisy safe and that she could be with us on, at Sabbath school today. Thank you for always taking care of us. Help us to learn more about you today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for reminding me to say thank you. Sometimes we forget to say thank you. We rem also remember to ask for a list of stuff when we pray. It reminds me of our lesson of gratitude last week. You know, I've been writing stuff down that I'm grateful for and wow, there's so much! Me too! I'm grateful for Daisy, Leo and George, but most of all, to have Jesus. I found a story in the Bible this week about some people that forgot to say thank you! That is mostly terrible. Go on, tell us. The story 
is found in the Bible, in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 17, and from verse 11 to 19. The story goes like this. Jesus was walking along the border between Samaria and Galilee on his way to Jerusalem. He was walking through a village when he saw ten men. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks, Daisy. Ten people. And you know what? They all had a sickness called leprosy. Because the men were sick, they couldn't be with their families. <gasps> they had to stay far away from the village. The ten men pleaded with Jesus to help them. They said, Jesus, teacher, have mercy on us. And you know what, boys and girls? Jesus did. He healed all five of them. Is that what the Bible says? No. He healed all of them. All ten of them. They were so happy. And you know what? Out of the ten Jesus healed, only one came back to say thank <gasps> you. We can be like that thankful man, boys and girls. We can say thank you to our Heavenly Father and to Jesus for all our blessings. Why did the other night say thank you? We also often make excuses for not saying thank you. Let's always remember to say thank you and not be like the nine that didn't come back and say thank you to Jesus. Let's be thankful for what we have, but also say thank you. Girls, tell me whether this statement is true or false. God wants us to thank Him once a year. False! You're right! God appreciates our praises even when He already knows we're thankful. True! That's right! Some days might go by without anything to thank God for. False! God is the giver of every good and perfect gift. True! Well done!
attitude is also being thankful for what you do have, but saying thank you for what somebody has done for us. Let's practice this week to say thank you to God when we pray for what we have and what he has done. Bye. 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 Till next week. Bye. Till next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.